James Melton is. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to show you how to correct the five most common errors in CapCut auto captioning. Stay tuned. There are five errors that occur in CapCut quite often. Here are the five errors that I encounter every single time I use CapCut for auto captioning. Number one, my name and formal names are often misspelled and there's no surprise error. And I would love to see at some point that there's a learning capability of CapCut to understand my last name is spelled with eight letters as opposed to three or four or five. And I like that to be spelled correctly. So that's one error. The second one that happens often is that there's an incorrect sizing, especially after the end of a sentence. I'll show you that example in a moment. And then there's also a problem with, as I mentioned, as my last name is a problem, but formal names or very specific, complex, even technical names are always going to be misspelled, probably at a 99% rate. There is a problem with common names. So if I use the word wine and I enunciate that very clearly, it interprets that as one, O-N-E. And again, there's no learning on CapCut to really understand these common things you do on a constant basis. Number four, I find that text goes missing. It doesn't caption. Number five, the text is out of the screen. Let's get started. It's only spelling five letters of my name, so I'm gonna enter in the remainder. And you're gonna see here, I'm gonna play this through. James, Mel it's on two different lines. Now, in some ways, you can correct this by saying, let me enter in a space here. I'll decrease that and see if that goes to one line. No, it doesn't. I just have to live with that. There's no correction on that. And I would like to see CapCut do a update on that at some point in the future. Number two, the incorrect sizing. So as you go through this, you're going to see, look, this is out of the frame. That is really frustrating. And I used to think it has to do with the spacing, but it doesn't. I could be tighter on this. And this is still going to occur somewhere in the middle of this particular video project that I'm working on and wanting the captions to be completed. I'm going to click on this. And also, before I actually decrease the size, which I'll have to do, is you're going to see here the letter E is very, very small. So I have to click on that and go to the end of the word, put a space in. Now, that's actually at the size I want it to be, right? That's a correct sizing. So that's something to keep a lookout for. And so let's decrease that. That goes back here. I can increase slightly on this, but I might have a situation where the text is actually going to be more on the right side versus the left side. I can have subsequent texting on the next sequences, and they might be towards the left, which would take this out to the right side. So just be aware that I'm very, very careful with that. I just tend to decrease the size to allow that to happen. And then formal names. You're going to see here that Ruzzese is spelled correctly. It's a very rare wine grape from Italy. Here I know, looking at this immediately, because I repeat it three times, the name of the wine grape. This is a how to pronounce video. So I definitely know that I need to correct this and manually type this in. And what I always do is I enter in space there because I don't want that to be a different size just in case. So the captioning never picked up here. And there is something I'm saying. So I'm saying that particular phrase and yet it is something that is not captured here. So I just copy from the closest one, the closest caption, copy it here, and then just update it. I know exactly what I've said, and I just need to update that here. So that's done. So these errors will happen almost on every single auto captioning you're doing with CapCut. There is, again, there's no uh, progressive learning that happens through CapCut. Not sure why. It'd be great to see even formal names that perhaps you as a user who's using this all the time can actually have that as a part of the learning uh, capabilities of the software to pick up those things. And so if you're using your name like every single video that I do, it should be able to pick that up. I want a nice clean captioning and accurate captioning. And sometimes I just have to put in a little more work than I'd like to. But this is what I've encountered. And I'm sharing this with you on how to make some of these updates yourself. Thank you for watching. Give a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you back for more James the Tech Guy videos.